Hello, I am Rodan from Stimulsoft. Today I will show you how to connect your Google Analytics account, get data and use them to develop reports and dashboards. Open the Google console and click the project menu. Select or create a new project. In this lesson, I will show you how to create a new project. Click the new project. Type project name and other fields if needed. Click the create. Select your project in the project menu. Now you should enable two services. Click the menu and choose the APIs and Services tab. Click the Enable APIs and Services. Next, you should find Google Analytics Reporting API and Google Analytics API Services and enable them. Next, you should select the Credentials tab and create new credentials. Click the Create Credentials and select the Service Account item. Define Service Account name and set role. For example, I set role as Owner. Click the Done to finish creation of the new service account. Click the Service Account and select the Keys tab. Click the Add key and select the Create new key command. Select the key type as JSON and click the Create to download service account file. Open the service account file in the editor and copy it to clipboard value of the client email parameter. Now you should set permissions in your Google Analytics account for this project. Open your Google Analytics account. Click the Admin tab and select the Account User Management. Click the plus and select the Add Users command. Paste a mail from clipboard and specify permissions for this account. Click the Add to finish the process. Now run the Stimulso Designer. Go to the Dictionary tab, click the New Item and select the New Data Source command. Select the Google tab and the Google Analytics item. The Designer will load adapter to connect to the Google Analytics service. You should choose the Service Account file in the new Google Analytics connection form. Some parameters will be set automatically, but you can change them. Select metrics and dimensions to generate data tables. Also, you can specify the date range to get data using the start date and the end date parameters. Click OK and select Data Columns. Now you can use this data to create reports and dashboards. Thank you for your attention. Subscribe please to our channel. If you have any questions, leave comments on this video. Goodbye.